Good evening, if you're joining us during our YouTube premiere. I'm Kyle Haugen, Artistic Director of Northwest Repertory Singers. This is our 20th season, and our season-long theme is hope in our song. Certainly our wish for you this Christmas time is that we can bring you hope through our music tonight. This program includes new virtual choir recordings as well as recordings from past concerts. There are some traditional favorites and a number of pieces that are a little off the beaten path. We'll also see a familiar face as our founder and artistic director emeritus, Paul Schultz, will join us via Zoom to offer some comments about pieces you'll hear tonight. We begin with a traditional English carol from the early part of the 20th century using music from France in the 16th century. You know it as Ding Dong Merrily on High, and this arrangement by Ryan Murphy is for four-hand piano, with all four hands provided by our incomparable accompanist, Margie Screen. This last fall, we released our first virtual choir recording. It was a setting of the traditional spiritual This Little Light of Mine, followed by an archival recording of Moses Hogan's This Little Light that we made in 2018 at our December concert. You might not usually think of This Little Light as a Christmas piece, but I think it works remarkably well. Not only is Christmas time a season of light, but the very first time I heard the piece was the public television broadcast of the St. Olaf Christmas Festival. In fact, Moses Hogan wrote this piece for Anton Armstrong and the St. Olaf Choir. Here's our performance of This Little Light. This little light
One of my favorite American carols is I Wonder As I Wander by John Jacob Niles. Niles is known as a collector and gatherer of American folk songs, especially from Appalachia, and also a composer of songs in a folk style. A few years ago, I decided to write a setting of I Wonder As I Wander for piano, tenor bass voices, and cello. Here's our own Tom Walworth joining us on cello for I Wonder As I Wander. This is our 20th season, and one of the ways we had planned to celebrate was to bring our 
founder and artistic director emeritus Paul Schultz back to the podium this spring. And of course, with the outbreak of COVID-19, that's not going to happen. Paul and his wife Donna recently moved to Lexington, Kentucky, and he joined me over Zoom a couple of months ago to chat about his 17-year tenure with Northwest Repertory Singers. Of course, I asked Paul about his very first concert with Northwest Repertory Singers in December of 2001. That was the first time he programmed a piece called Snowforms with NWRS, a piece that would generate a lot of buzz. Here's Paul to talk about the piece. The number that everybody remembers most from that concert is the women doing snowforms. Right. And it just absolutely captivated the audience. And uh, I'll never forget the reaction to it. It's nothing I do or the singers do, but it's the music itself. You know, I mean, if people have the radio on and suddenly they hear the theme from Ode to Joy, you know, of the Ninth Symphony, it does something to them. Tell me more about the notation of the score. It, it basically was... Um, a, a wide score. The background color of the score was teal, and all of the markings on it were in white ink. And it just it would show a level of snow going, and then it might be a drift like that. And the line would be thin, and then it might get thick. Uh, and so this was uh, a determinant for dynamics. If the line was thin, it was soft, and as it widened out, it got louder. Isn't there a story about how Schaefer made those shapes? He had seen something? Yes. He was, he was, uh, he was sitting, he, he lives in a farm in Toronto, outside of Toronto, and they were having a big snowstorm and he was watching the formations of snow on his window and on his porch and things so he just started drawing these formations and came up with the rest of it. So those undulating lines are, are literally the forms of snow, the snow forms. Exactly. For this online presentation of snow forms, I thought I'd try a little experiment. I found an audio waveform visualizer that created a computer-generated animation to accompany the sounds of the song. Here's the sopranos and altos of Northwest Repertory Singers, conducted by Paul Schultz in 2017. Thank you. 
Our very first choir video was released on YouTube about 10 years ago. At that time, we recorded Tomorrow Shall Be My Dancing Day, set by English composer John Gardner. Here's Paul to tell a little bit about the piece. I think I first heard the piece uh, 
perform, performed by a Michigan State ensemble. And I was very taken by it. John Gardner is a, a British composer. And um, I just was very taken by the piece. It's short, it's sweet, it's uh, delightful. I've always loved that text. Um, theologians have had uh, a great time explaining that text. And, uh, but I, I just, always liked it and so uh, decided to, to program it and uh, when we did it uh, one of our tenors John McGilliard's son Jared uh, is a professional videographer who works almost exclusively now for National Geographic. It was fun to uh, to have our picture taken or, or be filmed by someone of uh, Jared's reputation and ability. It's a pretty amazing uh, uh, little video. was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. How many of us know that children's poem by heart? It's a cherished tradition for many families this time of year. Composer Anders Edenroth, who's also a vocalist with The Real Group, has taken that text and given it a modern twist. He tells it in a new way from the perspective of a child who says, give me a present for the future. That sentence with its double meaning seems to take on a lot of significance in 2020. It's been a tough year for many of us, and I've seen several comparisons to 1968, another really tough year in American life. That got me to thinking about Christmas of 1968, Christmas Eve, when the Apollo 8 astronauts who were well on their way from the Earth to the Moon broadcast a message of hope back to Earth. For our final piece this evening, we have a virtual choir presentation of The World for Christmas with a nod to those Apollo 8 astronauts and their message of goodwill. 
from the crew of Apollo 8, Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth. It's a night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature is stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings are hung by the chimney with care. But hopes for St. Nicholas I wish I could share. I am new to this world. Thank you for joining us for this program. We look forward to when we can share music again with you together in person. In the meantime, on behalf of our board of directors and all of our members at Northwest Repertory Singers, 
we wish you hope in our song and a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you.